Whoopi. Don't try to lie to us. Quit being fake and phony. The view has been eating away at my soul for the last several years. I can't stand not one person on the view. The only people that seem to be rational are the conservatives that they bring on as guests. I don't know how they have a show. How do anybody watch this garbage? But President Trump's son, Don Jr., came to the rescue. They were not expecting him to get on their rear end. Country like that. Do Listen, you understand we, we, that? We've all, we've all done like things. They don't like the vessel of this America, wait, wait, wait. so they you know, speak. Wait. But nevertheless, look at the results. We, we've all done things that we regret. I mean, if we're talking about bringing the discourse down, Joy, you've worn blackface. Whoopi, no, you I said that sorry, Roman I'm Polanski. Sorry, I'm sorry, and don't. You, if you, you said do that it. Roman Polanski, it wasn't rape, rape when he raped a child. So let's, oh, let's okay. talk about so, yeah, serious no, Let's things. talk Come about on, this. So fair. you want to bring this up? The yeah. question came up I did not about, go in blackface, please. No, she was not in blackface. Thank you. <laughs> and Whoopi Goldberg, you don't speak for all black people. You do realize that, right? So you giving her a pass on Nationwide TV, you make yourself look even more stupid. Yeah. You're a black woman. Yeah. And you definitely know what blackface is. You remember your boyfriend? You did dancing? Yeah. <laughs> At that comedy roast? Yeah. Where he's roasting you in blackface? Yeah. And you know what's the worst of this is? He dropped the N-word, what, 13 times? <laughs> right? What makes this even worse? It was Whoopi's idea. She wrote the joke. <laughs> they didn't see that coming. You see Whoopi? Did you see Whoopi face? She did not see that coming at all. Let's set the record straight, ladies and gentlemen. Whoopi. Don't try to lie to us. Quit being fake and phony. I, the internet is out there. Anybody can look this up. You did say Roman Polanski a uh, uh, kind of rate a 12 year old and, and, and Whoopi dumbed it down. And this is a person that Hollywood has just given accolades to and this is probably one of the dirtiest men on planet Earth. Well, Whoopi Goldberg and others on the left want to rewrite history and tell us that, well, we just need to behave exactly as they did in 2016 when Donald Trump was elected president. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Do you mean like this? Hillary Clinton didn't say, hey, wait a minute, this doesn't feel right, stop the count. I do think that he knows uh, that uh, he's an illegitimate president. She didn't say, this isn't right, I'm not going for it. She didn't say any of that. You can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you. I mean, she is just Ooh. completely lost it. People tend to question Donald Trump's mental health. When are we going to start to ask some serious, hard questions about hers? Seriously, woman to woman, Hillary Clinton, you have got to move on. This is not even about politics anymore. It's not healthy to hold on to something like this whatsoever. She says that she's a strong woman. What sort of a strong woman is not over this a year and a half later and is still crying about the election, blaming people and, and pointing the finger. This is not an example right, of a but, strong woman. Well, she yeah. did say that she made mistakes. That's the first time I've ever heard her say that. That, yeah, it, that took a year and a half for her to even admit yes. that. But you right. have to understand that she is not an example of a strong woman. She was not right. equipped to be the first female president yeah. of the United States. So all of you, suck it up. Suck it up like we sucked it up. Yeah. Yeah. And if you are not sure that you are comfortable with Joe Biden, do what we did. Find things and then take it to the law. And if the law says it's something to look at, look at it. But from <coughs> now on, suck it up. Never say his name. I don't. Why? Uh, I can't. You recognize that he is the president. I, you know, I, he's there. And then we get Whoopi Goldberg, the specter of Whoopi Goldberg, saying that we have to suck it up. You know, we sucked it up when Trump won. In what way did Democrats suck it up when Trump won? We got four long years of you whining that Trump wasn't the actual president of the United States. Not hashtag not my president the Women's March in the immediate aftermath of Trump winning. We, we got huge Black Lives Matter protests throughout the summer. The idea being that Trump was the, the font head of systemic American racism. We got the media and their collusion narrative that went on for years on end despite lack of evidence. We got an impeachment. At what point did Democrats actually come to the terms with the fact that Trump had won? They never came to terms, which is why they're so celebratory now because they think that now reality has snapped back into place. But spare me, uh, like really, all of this stuff is just... Ugh. 
All these people who are unwilling to accept the results of election now going, you know, you guys, you got to grow up. I, I'm not, I'm not willing to hear that from you. I'm sorry, Whoopi Goldberg. I'm, I, I think you have, um, I think you literally have no leg to stand on here. This is, well, not literally. I assume you have legs, but you have no leg to stand on here. And this is what we're hearing from a lot of people in the media, that Trump supporters are sore losers. That's the only reason we're talking about fraud, that we're triggered, that we're just breaking down because we just can't take the reality of the election. This is coming from people, Whoopi Goldberg included, by the way, who still have not accepted the results of the 2016 election, who have literally been melting down for the past four years, who all claim that the 2016 election was illegitimate because of Russian collusion. Like you, you understand that it's not Trump supporters that are freaking out right now. It's not Trump supporters that are burning down cities. It's not Trump supporters that you have to worry about. Just because Trump supporters want to go through the legal process of making sure all legal votes are counted and illegal votes are not counted doesn't mean that we are not sucking it up when uh, sucking it up is the opposite of what Democrats have done for the past four years. And they rail the F out of people all day long for the same, the very same thing that they're doing themselves. Now let's bring in Judge Jeanine Perry. You already saw our host of Justice with Judge Jeanine and author of the new book, great new book, Liars, Leakers, and That's Tables. right, and she, w she was over on The View yesterday to <laughs> promote it. Uh, how did it go? Watch this. Children of American citizens. You know what's hard? What's when, horrible? When the president of the United States whips up cities. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me go. Whoopi got angry, and what, what the viewing audience, the television audience, didn't see is that they, they popped up the cover of my book as she pushed off the desk, you know, unplugged her, uh, uh, her mic, and then stormed off the set. So I'm there saying, you know, I'm in television. I said, I don't think the segment's over, but I think she just left, Janine. I think it's over. So I take off my own mic, and then I, you have to go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. I go down the stairs, and she's right there, and I said something like whoopee you know i spent my whole life fighting for victims because we had talked about rapes and all that and she said to me as she she got up in my face and i read somewhere someone said well she you should have kept walking i couldn't walk by her she was at the bottom of the stairs she says f you f you and then i i said did you just say f you and then she said get that F out of this building, get the F out of this building. So I'm there and I'm like, uh, okay. And you didn't do anything to provoke anybody there? No, you can ask the people that I was with. I mean, she she was nuts going off the uh, uh, the set. And then when I walked down, and so as I started walking out the building, so this woman is yelling behind me, get the F out of this building. I mean, look, I, I've, I've been a prosecutor, judge DA for 30 years. I try murder cases. I can go toe to toe with anybody. But that was abuse. And it was sad. It was a sad moment. Thank you for watching that video. If you like that, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe right up here. For other great content, take a look at our recommended video over here and see our, our playlist right over there. Remember to go to www.dustyfriday.com for great memes, news, videos, and my podcast available on all major platforms. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.